M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So look what we got here, we got the DV Megacast. So what is the DV Megacast? Well, a while back, people were saying, wouldn't it be great if a radio was made that could do DMR, D-Star and Fusion? Well, hey presto, they came along with this. The DV Megacast, multi-mode IP radio for ham radio enthusiasts. Now this is a used one, I'm gonna unbox it and then we'll in separate videos, we'll start to set this up, but it's an Ambi 3000 based multi-mode IP radio for all modes, 2.4 inch touch screen here, and for configuration, we've got pretty much the volume, and it does actually operate using a Yesu microphone. Now, the one that they originally send out with it, now you do need to check with your, you know, whoever you purchased this from, to see which microphone, or even if they do, include a microphone but this one works but also you'll find that this model works as well I think this one's a SSM BT85 which is very nice and um, so it's quite good that they've that they've used a Yesu microphone so let's just quickly look at what's written on the box Swiss Army knife for digital voice you can register this for all the latest updates now they they are bringing out a new update for this device so if you've already got this or you're thinking about getting one now's the time to do it because the new update is going to have some extra features. Plus, they've actually got other other things planned that I can't talk about that, that sound to me very exciting. So we'll just take off the case. Now, I'm pretty sure on one side there was a big description. Now, there it is there. So we'll just quickly look at this, this description here. And it's a very nice size unit. You'll see that. So it's got a Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You don't need an antenna. So for people that are in small flats that where you can't have antennas, this is perfect. It, it will act as a hotspot. There are some um, upgrade instructions for this and it will also act as an Ambi server. Inside you can plug in what they call a DV switch as well and that adds even more functionality via the Blue DV system. So high-ended CPU, DMR D-Star Fusion, Ambi, easy to use because all the instructions are on the front as you when you use the touch screen. It's got, I know it's got on the speaker, a nice loud speaker which changes colours. <laughs> we always like a colourful speaker indicator for status. So the, the colours do mean something. Three watt speaker, it's got a USB connector available for future use and also that will probably power something like it might power your charge your phone up or it could power another hotspot. Made of metal, lifetime free software upgrades. How good is that? And even if you sell this, I've been spoke to Rudd and Gus, and they said that even if you buy the second hand, you just re-register it and you get all the updates, um, you know, forever. Uh, they really support their items. Of course, they make many other items. So let's just slide that off. And now we'll get this box open. So this is how it comes. Let's uh, take the lid off here. And we'll lift that out, try not to cause any damage. So it's a very nice size and um, you've got the speaker here, microphone connector, so normal RJ45 type microphone connector. That looks to me like a volume, but I think it has push, yeah, it has push buttons. It's four screws just to take the lid off. I have taken the lid off one of these before. At the back, you've got your USB dongle, which provides the Wi-Fi. There's the USB, so we'll test that with a few things that we've got here that we could maybe power my OpenSpot 3 as well. DC input there, headphone output. I'm not sure if it's speaker and headphone. Again, we can test it. Uh, and then you've got your serial number, which is really important, and only your call sign can be registered with that serial number. Uh, so get the, mine's already registered. And uh, I, think I, I, I think I am gonna show you inside it, because I do think it's interesting. So there's just, there's eight, that's actually eight screws, four for the top, four for the bottom, and they do come off nice and easy. Uh, just four, they look like self-tapping black screws. So we'll take them off. Inside this, they have designed everything from scratch. It's not like a Raspberry Pi and then they've added bits on. They've designed their own board and you'll see that. And they've done it in a way where you can add your DV Mega um, Bluestack device. That turns it into a, a hotspot, so this, would no longer, you either have a hotspot mode or you have, you know, standard mode, which is, it's basically like a, like a MMDDM hotspot with a microphone in it and speaker. It's a bit like that, but obviously a lot more. So that's the four screws out. Just carefully take this lid off. Do I take them all out? Let's have a look here. Typical, it came off easy just now. 
now I'm filming it, it's, uh, it's being, it, oh, let me just get two hands on it. Yeah, so it literally just lifts off, just carefully, that you don't need to force it. Now mine has had the DV stick added already. DV stick provides the blue DV interface, it just plugs in there. The other board that you can get, which sort of sits at the back here, goes through the hole there with an antenna. That turns this into an actual hotspot, DMR, D-Star and Fusion. You, you just add a cable from here to the unit and then you poke the, through there. And then you have to move this DV stick with a little extension, just move it round. And as you can see, there's the board. This is the Ambi 3000 board here. That's doing the DMR decoding. And then here you've got all the internet. I mean, I, I'm not... I don't know what that is, but what I do know is you've got Ethernet coming in here at the back. You've got your USB, so they've made this board. I mean, it really looks good quality here. Then you've got the 2.4. It looks like it's a, yeah, it's a Nextian screen. I can see the word Nextian there and all the interface that's needed. And like I said, it's all, when you buy these, it's going to come with a warranty. So I will fire it up for you. Let's just put the lid back on. And um, it won't be ready configured. Put the lid back on. We'll get the four screws, screws in and then we'll fire it up. Nicely, just black screws here. Tape self-tapping screws. Like so. Okay. There you go. And the next thing is to grab the microphone. Plug that in the front, just here. That's the, it's a Yesu microphone, as I said. And let's, I've got a power supply that was given me. So it's just 12 volt DC. You can buy these for like seven pound, can't you? Um, so thanks very much for including that. So we're gonna just plug that in and we'll turn it on. Don't forget it's configured for the previous owner. But we'll still turn it on. Just gonna plug that in now. You see it come on live. Okay, plugged in and it's oh, there you go. Let's see what we see. DV Megacast starting system. It's a very nice looking screen, nice and clear. I like the the green LED. Now the setup is basically add your, you know, username and password of your router. And then it's just, you use your browser on your PC to, to enter the IP address that you've just got from the device. And then you just configure and it's things like call sign, DMR number, repeater one, repeater two, all that kind of stuff. So we'll leave it live. Got this here, that's volume, and when you push, I actually don't know what that does at the moment. Linking to R-E-F-0-0-1, Charlie. Mm. Well, that's interesting how it's linked, because I haven't connected the internet yet. So, yeah, maybe he configured it for me. Um, just give a quick call. I'm going to click the mic a minute and just see what you see. M0FXB calling for an audio check. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. Oh, I did say linking to, not linked. But did you see the way you've got the blue there? Yeah, then when you key, it goes red, little red here. It's very appealing to the eyeballs. I'm just going to put on my D Star hotspot and uh, see if I can uh, see myself pop up on the network. I just probably make sure that I unplug my, I've now unplugged my D-Star hotspot because you can't have two on the same network. So let's have a look here at power. All right, so the power turned it off. We'll just wait for that. Oh, that was a quick on off. Um, so you've got menu here, calls, See, I've got to change that, which I will do. But did you see that? Power on. Power on. So it's like more, more of a standby power on and off. 
CQ menu exit mode private call talk groups system LED brightness boost mic level main your settings oh I don't want to <laughs> it doesn't matter I'm going to redo it all it's more fun when you don't know what you're doing I think uh, la, 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 menu, exit, power, TG9, mode, fusion, D-star, DMR. You can see I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. So let's press that. Oh, look, see that? It went mute. So, go menu, calls. I wonder if I'm allowed to change it now. Yeah, I am. Look, look I can delete it now. I can put in M zero um, F X B tick and it's added that now I would say repeater one for me I go so let's go yeah put a B there Tick, and then G's find, tick, make your choice, no, system, so info, I think the new version is 1.31 and it's very easy to update this system, I won't do it this second, IP address unknown because we haven't configured it to my Wi-Fi, how do we go back? Power, CQ, menu, info. Again, we'd, like I said, I don't actually know what we're doing. Mode, menu, system. Well, I think that's enough. It's only an unboxing. We're definitely going to show videos exactly how to set this up. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, IP radio. No, no radio required. All modes, all bands, and you even get a... A P, you know, a microphone, PC, and it's a, it's a nice size. Let me just put the FTM five hundred on it, just so you get a feel for the size. It's a nice size, and you can it's flat, and you can put things on top, which is what I plan to do. Bye for now, seven three. Thanks for watching my channel. Lots more videos to follow. DV Mega Cast IP Radio.